my dad's do, 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 da, da. <laughs> He's very energetic. Very energetic, yeah, if you ask youth, me. The youths are actually very, very energetic. Yes. And it's, it's, it's going to be a good thing if um, they can channel all their that, powers and their that energy into something. Which, which, which I think everybody is trying to do these days because there's talk about that in every color. Meanwhile, our guests on the show, they're here, even though we're still missing one. We hope he gets here in a bit. But sitting very close to me, first time on the show, uh, is this delectable actress. She was, she's one of the people I love watching on screen uh, because I like her delivery. I like the her natural... You know, it's not easy to speak English. Then <laughs> it's even more difficult when you have to speak English and act it. <laughs> But then she does it flawlessly. She's always at ease, you know, doing her thing. And it's a pleasure to have her here on the show. Kiki Omele here with us. Hi, Kiki. Good to, see Hello. You. Good to have you here on the show. <laughs> Thanks, for <having> me. <laughs> Thanks for coming. All right. And at the other end of the table there, he's uh, one of us now because uh, he's been here like a couple of times. And of course, his contributions are always on point he's an entertainment talent manager amongst other things and also a social critic and watcher <laughs> akinyele soul child here with us hi, hi soul child hi, good afternoon, good good afternoon. how are you doing I'm good. I'm good. okay <coughs> all right so let's go straight into the show our first uh, interest this afternoon is black panther of course, the movie Black Panther, we all know, has been making waves all over the world. And the hype is massive. If you haven't seen Black Panther yet or you haven't heard about it, then you are living in the past. Now, there are, there are a lot of positive reviews with regards to the movie, especially with the fact that it's a black movie with an all-black cast. And so far, the movie has made over $899 million worldwide since it was released on the 16th of February uh, this year. All right, uh, to kickstart that, let's see the trailer to Black Panther and then we'll come and talk. I know some people are relaxed now. They want to watch the full movie. <laughs> Go to the theater. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very long trailer, like Kiki pointed out. Long. Very long. All right, so that's Black Panther. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. You are the actor. Yes. And, uh, what does this actually mean you know, for you? I know what the Americans are saying about this movie, but let's hear it from someone who is in Nollywood. What, what what do you think about Black Panther? I think the movie for a lot of we black people and even for we actors, it signifies hope. Hope. Yes, hmm. in the sense that I mean, we actually have a superhero movie, a major okay. superhero movie, hmm. and the superheroes are black people. Hmm. So for us, it signifies a lot of hope. I mean, uh, people took it personal. You saw them dressing up in African attire. Uh, yeah, but the first time people were celebrating their Africanness, and I hmm. hear. That a few people who were talking with like American accents are now abroad uh, because of Black Panther, they don't speak with the African accent. Wow! So like, oh, the African wow! Accent. Yeah, so I mean, it just signifies hope. Um, mm. There are a lot of um, African actors in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Zimbabwe Zimbabwean actress, mm. Danae Guerrera. Mm. We have Lupita, Lupita. who's Kenyan. Mm. We have Daniel Kaluuya, who's mm -hmm. Ugandan. Mm. So, I mean, maybe one day to be a Nigerian. A Nigerian, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which is why I said it signifies mm. hope, hope for us. Yes, I hear you. we are winning. Yeah. Okay. And um, recently on um, social media, we actually saw um, that the freeze actually came out and said the, the movie, was it that freeze or something? That said yeah. the movie was actually... DJ exclusive, DJ exclusive came out said, first and yeah, that the freeze actually, agreed, agreed. Well, that agreed with him. Yeah, that it was, was overhyped. Over yeah. actually say it that way. Let me yeah. quote what he said. Uh, that the Free said <laughs> that the storyline of Black Panther is just like, you know, the typical movies we see on African magic. You know, where the king dies, the son takes over, a cousin from nowhere comes to contest the, the, the throne, then the king's son is killed, and then later he doesn't die, and then he comes to save his, his kingdom and take over again. You know, yeah, you know the typical... That's not really the point. Mm. The point is that this movie is world 
wide. Mm. It's a big studio movie. And he has black people at the forefront. We should celebrate that. We shouldn't mm. demean it. Like, mm. seriously? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's... Um, and so the movie child. actually has to do with um, the blacks before colonialism. Yes. Mm. Yes. So it had to do with a lot of people loving themselves the way they, the are, way they are. With yeah. the air do and, and every off. other thing. So I can't really... Mm. All right. Uh, I believe... Uh, Everybody has the right to their opinion. Yeah. Start with, and every other, everybody that said something against it, I can validate whatever they are saying, trying to make as a point. And okay. everybody that said something for it, we can, we can really validate what they say as a point. Yes, Black Matter has brought out the black in blacks. Mm. Yes, all the blacks can be proud and they can make noise and say, yeah, a big studio production company support our black story and we are all over the world. Everybody's watching us. Great. Some few black guys have made already famous already. Mm -hmm. I don't think it like breeds every other black people, but those guys on that screen, they are made forever. Yes. At the end of the day. So talking about, is it normal African magic? I disagree with that. Okay. <laughs> some, to some extent. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he has, an, he, has, he has an African magic story because somebody mm -hmm. died, the father came, mm -hmm. all, all, all yeah. that. And that's yeah. what Africa is all about. We're all mm -hmm. about heritage, all about father dying. Exactly. We are all about propagating culture so, and customs here. Yeah. He can be mm. right in a way that it was overhyped because it's a matter that we go through here every day, but in another way, they shot it from the Hollywood end. Yes. Because, yes, there are other black movies that have existed mm -hmm. before now that mm -hmm. never got this kind of hype. Mm -hmm. Maybe because people don't see reasons why they should push it that much. But this one, a white man is behind it. Mm -hmm. Marvel is owned by white people. Yeah. So this is a black story mm. with a white money on it. So yeah. I can agree someone saying that I don't feel it because it doesn't mm. have, because they have several, seven to eight black companies that make movies, that promote movies that I saw on, on, on the internet before I came here today. So why don't we take that story to those black guys to make the money mm. and produce and, 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 and uh, push it? They might not have that budget to push it around anyway, because sure. these guys that pushed it, they pushed it heavily. We saw the PR, wonderful. They made mm -hmm. everybody in the world anticipate it. Yes. And when it dropped, everybody... Every bomb was ready for it, you know, yes. So mm. this, is, this is the effect of the Marvel on the story. Exactly. Anyway, Marvel is known for this kind of... Exactly, like um, bringing comic they do, they do, comic yeah, characters, they, they, you they, know, they to life, they do, yes. You know, you know, you know, um, yes, they, yes. And meanwhile, this is the first superhero movie that doesn't have Batman or Iron Man in it. Did you notice? From Marvel? Yes, from Marvel. Really? You know, with no Batman. Yeah, this Sorry, is the first one. There's be, always a Batman or an Iron like Man. <laughs> and, the that there you know? and then there was a Nigerian name, Okoye, even though it was a lady bearing Okoye yeah. in the movie. Okoye, Okoye would have been like a guy if it was Nigerian. Mean, but mm. what's the meaning of um, In Korea, you're, you're Igbo. Well, yes, I'm Igbo. The thing is, in Igbo culture, mm. we have four market days. There's Oye, there's Unko, there's Afo, and then there's Ori. Mm. So, in the past, if you were born on, you know, any of those, those market days, days yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. so that's why you have Okonkwo, Okafo, Okori, mm, okay. yeah, so Okoye is... So it's still young yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, but then let's come home now and look at this from the Nollywood lens, you know. Uh, do you think this movie got the kind of uh, rave reviews it got? Because it's a big budget movie. Because I hear about two hundred million, you know, dollars, you know, was actually put into this movie and all that, which is the kind of money we don't usually yeah, yeah. get to play yeah. around with when we shoot movies uh, yeah, here. Yeah. Do you think big budgets, you know, on a movie, you know, will translate into a successful movie? Well, most of the time it will. The reason I say mm. this is because we have so many good movies in Nollywood. Unfortunately, we don't have the budget for promotion. Mm. So when nobody hears about the movie, then nobody goes to see it. Mm. And Akinele said something very important. He said that Marvel had the, they had the budget to push the movie, that mm -hmm. it made everybody anticipate it and yeah. it was hyped. Mm. You see, whether anybody likes it or not, hype works. Hmm. Hype okay. works. When you hype something, people anticipate it. And then if they go to see it and you know the content that has been hyped actually backs the hype, then yeah. you know it does it blows, blows out of proportion. Yeah. Mm. yeah, we saw that happen um with the Nigerian movie sometime in twenty sixteen mm. where the wedding party, the wedding party. Yeah, it was really hyped and mm -hmm. then people went to see it and they loved it. Some yeah. people were seeing the movie three times, four times. Mm -hmm. I know okay. someone who saw it three times. Even know. though the part two didn't do so well. So you, you know, know what? The part like, two is a story yeah. for you know, another day. I don't know what happened with, with that, you know. Yeah. Mm. No, I'm sure um Akiela definitely has something to say because he's coming from a different angle, not as a Nollywood practitioner. Actor, practitioner. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. What do you think? Well, for 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 the night, for the big budget thing yeah. that we we keep we keep saying, the big budget is important because the PR cannot be overemphasized when mm. you're pushing anything, mm -hmm. even in other aspects of life, politics and education and all that. If you put a lot of money into something, mm -hmm. then there are a lot of people that will get a job and they have deliverables to deliver. Then it, it gets leverage, for. yes. So I yes, know there are yeah. companies, PR companies, mileage rather, that mm. was giving money to push black yeah. men. Apparently, you see them on social media making all sorts of moves, trying to please do that, get black pa black panther ticket, or do black panther sign and everything. So somebody yeah. get copy and they have to deliver. And when they deliver, the movie gets the, the the kind of attention that it needs. And also, like she said, if it's a great movie at the end of the day, people will go there to watch it seven times. Mm. I, I know somebody that has taken like three girls to go and watch this movie <laughs> back to back. <laughs> so I, I'm actually telling you that people loved it because it's a great script. It's yeah. a great, well-acted movie. They yeah. made use of every African content mm. that they could use. The language, the African effect was there. Mm. And you know, we are Africans, black people, generally, we are noisy about our success these days. If okay. a black man eats anything, every, every black person is going and doesn't make sense. Yes, okay. yes. Because they maybe they feel on the dog in a way, and mm. uh, yeah. suddenly things are changing, and our on the dog status is kind of lifting, and we are getting the attention. So mm. it's great to know that mm. something at least coming from, from a white man, maybe they just felt like, what should we come compensate these black people? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, let's take this, let's take this script mm. <laughs> and sponsor it and see how they will be excited about it. And yes, and it's sold, and it's sold out and mm. it's still selling anyway. Yes, it's okay. still selling. All right then, Kiki, do you actually think that Black Parents has actually changed the mentality of a lot of um, blacks all over the world? Yes, I mean, I said to you earlier that a lot of people who were talking with American and British accents are now embracing the African <laughs> accent. So, yeah, I mean, they, they, they now see that they can be proud of the fact that they're African. So, yes, it has changed mm. the narrative. It's a short, it's a short else, effect for me, anyway. I don't know. Don't I, don't, I, don't that. I don't think that. No. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'll tell you why I said I don't okay, think so. Okay, go ahead. I'll tell you why I said I don't think so. Marvel, they're business people. Mm. And not just Marvel, all the other studios that make movies, they're business people. So, who will see the success that this movie has? recorded and now not you know follow suits to do another movie that glorifies black people because mm. perhaps our numbers you know okay. actually translate to big money for these people so i don't think it's a short-term effect now mm. that they've seen how black how, people have yes, embraced, embraced, embraced yes. That and then know. how well it also yeah. did yeah. in terms yeah. of box yeah. office yeah. 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 don't forget yeah. avengers yeah. infinity yeah. is on the way to sell so. the short effect mm -hmm. is on the liberation of the black person of the black of the mind society. i think okay. it's more about yeah, the mind so people are still paying to five thousand to make their child speak british accent in abuja you know, right in now. nigeria you know yes yeah. you know in nigeria you know what i don't agree and i'll tell you why in the past i think we were all about so oh, you know um, you know, relaxing our hair or looking a certain way, but now people proudly it's wear natural. their natural hair. Yes. 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 And this is actually the Ankara. I was showing yes. patients something. They were selling about a thousand, one thousand, over one thousand yes. pounds. 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 Well, tell, tell, tell so for ordinary for Ankara, and, and, and guess like, what? And without guess stones. What? <laughs> and guess what? I'm an actor. Hmm. In the past. It wasn't a thing of pride to wear, you know, a Nigerian design yes. or whatever. But now on the red carpet, we are proudly flaunting, flaunting it. Nigerian designs. Not just clothes, even shoes, hmm. you know, even accessories, whatever. I don't remember the last time I bought anything abroad. I don't remember because everything, practically everything I buy these days is from some Nigerian designer or the other. So, I mean, we are really embracing our We're embracing it. Yeah, we Okay. Are. I'm talking about embracing our Africanness, you know. Um... America has actually gone gaga, you know, over this Black Panther thing. And then if you go on YouTube, what you find these days is one challenge after the other. People trying to oh, outdo oh, each other nice. in terms of dancing, uh, <laughs> the Black Panther way and all of that. All right, so let, let, let's bring this short video uh, on how people are dancing now, you know, in terms of Black Panther. And then we'll come back and talk some more.
Yes, of course, you saw people dancing. I mean, it's not just enough for you to just go and watch the movie alone. You have to learn the dance, dance steps as well. You want to take a well. picture doing Wakanda. 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 <laughs> yes, Wakanda. All right, somebody is reacting here. It says, Black Panther is very energetic and I love the graphics. Movies like this will always remove boredom from my life. Yes, go get your life. <laughs> get your life. Watch Nigerian movies today. Who bought them? What do you mean? You can see Kiki here. What do you mean? I, I, what do you mean? I, 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 I see something positive. I said, if you should go and, if you should go and watch the Nigerian movies too, you take okay. away boredom. All right, but then let's come to Nollywood. You know, when are we ever going to see, you know, Nollywood do a movie, you know, that will touch people's lives? To the to the point that people will be ready to alter several things, several aspects about Bella. themselves. Yes, because of one movie. When well, are we going to get to that? You point? know what? We actually said this earlier. We talked about not having that kind of money to play with. Mm. If you want to make an impact through a movie, let's face it. Number one, you need the money to shoot an exceptional movie. Number two, you need the money to do exceptional PR. So that it can, you know, reach as many people as possible mm. and change their lives. Mm. I keep saying this. We have a lot of very talented hands mm. in Nollywood. A lot of people don't know. But mm. a lot of times they're limited by, you know, funding, budgets and all that. Mm. So <laughs> whenever people start taking us seriously enough to drop that kind that of kind big of money, money. Yeah, I think is when that will happen. But I want to um, say something. Yeah, social hold on so social because um, I need to take care on that. Because there are times that we've seen forums whereby government officials, actually come out and say um, they are supporting um, Nollywood with XYZ amount of money. They're actually giving out loans, grants, whatever it is to Nollywood. So what's the what old, okay. Is charade? Okay, okay, let me say this. Sometimes um, they actually get some kind of funds. I know sometimes people get tens of millions of Naira. Sometimes people claim to have put in hundreds of millions of Naira into production. Now when I say that Nollywood has talented hands, it doesn't mean that the people who have access to these funds are the talented, talented hands. As okay. a matter of fact, unfortunately, okay. most of the time, the talented ones don't, don't have that kind of that access kind of to access. the funds. Mm. And then it's the jokers sometimes who get access to funds like that. And then they tell you, oh, this movie, you know, you had a 50 million naira budget, or you had a 100, and you're looking, and you're like, are you, where is the you, money? I'm like, are you kidding me right now? So you see, that's the problem. Um, in every industry, you have the talents and you have the jokers, but unfortunately, like most things, the talents will be the underdogs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Unfortunately. So yeah, it happens like that. Okay, I can't. Nollywood has problems. Hmm. Definitely. We can we can say Nigeria as a country has problems. Yeah. So we cannot really shy away from our problems and start asking for too much from these other people that are still bound with these problems that we have. But sometimes these problems are not even the country itself, but we as people. Yes, we have, mm. we have, we need to start sorting good scripts, I mean, story, story that, that, story talk, that tells mm. a culture, not one guy that goes abroad and come back mm. and speak Yaki English to become the Igwe of mm -hmm. an Igbo community mm. or one Yoruba <laughs> boy that, I don't know. So I think this, the storyline sometimes kind of like don't connect to the culture and it will be hard for somebody to watch a Nollywood movie and tell where the story is coming it's from. It's coming from. But if you watch a South African movie, which I've been privileged to watch few, you will know this is South African it's story. Yeah. So we should start yeah. telling They're stories. bringing all but the can elements. I, can, I, can, I say yeah. can I say something about what you just said? The producers are all about the money. You said something. You said that Nigeria in itself fundamentally has problems. People will give the audience what they want. 
Mm. You see, in South Africa and these other countries you're talking about, they embrace their culture because the audience, you know, they embrace their culture as well. I was in Ghana, um, I think it was last year, sometime around Valentine's Day, and I heard that on Valentine's Day in Ghana, if you're going to give your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife chocolates, it has to be chocolates made in Ghana. Hmm. Wow. Can that happen in Nigeria? You we'll probably say, ah, no, I beg, this Nigerian this local, local. Or you probably check local the cards. Chocolate. You, see, you see, that's the problem. Mm. If, if you do, because at the end of the day, filmmaking is a business. Mm. So if you do a movie, you know, that is embracing culture like the South Africans do, and then the audience doesn't appreciate it, yes. You know, mm. at the end of the day, we don't make your money. That's why a lot of people bend and do what the audience wants. You know, you're talking about some Igwe that came back from America and, there's a reason he became a viral sensation. It's because that's the kind of thing Life that Nigerians that that's, 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 that, that's, that, that's the kind of thing that Nigerians like. But what's so, our problem, though? I don't know. Oh, oh, but we, we, we're not going to explode this whole industry by relying on our Nigerian resources alone. Mm. Some international bodies need to tap into our resources to come mm. fund us to, like sometimes the bodies in Netflix came to Nigeria. Did they yeah. survive? Mm -hmm. We didn't hear the end of it. Right, what, what happened what to happened Netflix? To and if, we, if, if he had survived, mm. he could have taken us to a place where international bodies can buy our content, see our mm. content, and consume it. Mm. The only content I see that I see pushing now, let's talk about this music right now, because yes, some musicians are sticking to the culture when it comes to language, okay. not, their, okay. so, not the dressing most of the time. Now our Nigerian mm. boys are sagging and wearing, mm. but so much still dressing like Nigerians are definitely goats and the fuels. Mm. So what I'm trying to say is, yes, there is a passion that should be in us, aside from the fact that we want to make money. Yes, the money will not come because we desire, we desire money. We need to put value out there to make that money. And until we embrace that, our culture, that will attract better type of investment that will come to us and convert into money in our, side, in our environment and all that. Still, we are still one of the best in Africa. And we don't sell our culture. Yeah, that's true. All right, someone just sent this one in, says, I just love the movie. I've watched it like 10 times. In fact, I'm watching it again. <laughs> Marvel <laughs> Studios should continue producing. That is best to come and me to go and watch <laughs> more. <laughs> it's like, I hope it's at the cinema you're watching. <laughs> because I hear there's already pirated copies. Pirated copies. Exactly. I hope it's at the cinema you Trust watch it 10 times. Now. Wow. Trust Please, that person should... Uh, Come on, carry me for one, at least. Mm. At least we saw someone that actually yeah. paid for but, everyone. But, but yo, you know what I like the most about the Black Panther movie? The fact that children can watch yes. it. I love yes. that part of it. Yes. There is no obscenity, yes. you know, even all the after effects is what excites children and all. I like, I you like that. And that actually brings us back yes. to Africa itself. Yes. Because if mm. we get to um, embrace our own culture, we we'll mm. definitely know that there are things that a lot of even the youth and the kids would want to watch without yeah. telling them without don't a, watch exactly, TV. Exactly. That's exactly. about our culture. I, that, I think mm. it's really important for children to see black people in this kind of light at a young age yeah. because it tells them that they can be proud of who exactly. they are. Exactly. I mean, if, if we see all the big studio movies and they're all white people, then mm. I mean, mm. we probably feel like we are not really. So, so, so this, 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 this is why girls are being that's one of those struggles <laughs> that this generation and the generation before us have. Okay. Because we actually. Gender, grew, grew up seeing lots of celebrity white big screen mm. actors, the, the Charlie Champlains and all, all that, uh, uh, the old seven guy and all that. Yeah, there were few black guys. I only saw few black guys then. Maybe the guy that asked Sniper, the Blade, Blade guy, and maybe what's 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 some other few guys who grew up, but more uh, Titanic was all white. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. And it was one of those things that make almost mm. of us fall in love. So what we think about love, we think of a white girl. <laughs> trying to say the jack. Yeah, I understand. So, well, yeah, like she said, it's yeah. good if our generation, our own kids now start seeing black, black celebrities exactly. winning Oscars. Exactly. Yeah. So and talking Israel, about Wesley yeah. Snipes, I it's hear impossible. in the past he did um, show interest, you know, to actually be in this Black Panther movie. Oh, but you know really? how it was like, like in the 80s and all of that, but it didn't really like just really work out and all of that. But here we are with Black Panther. Mm -hmm. All right, let's